Here I am again to do an unboxing. Ah, stop it. Why you are pissing on me? Hello everyone, this is Ricardo de Vue. This is the Meredith ZE Aka Humming Board. It's a family of reels, basically it's not a family. It's a body of a reel where they will put a lot of spools. So you have the 1000S, 2000, 2000S, 2500 and 2500S. The weight, it varies around 160 grams to 164 grams. So around 5.6 ounces. All of them share the same body, so same specs for every one of them. 5 kilos of drag or 11 pounds, 8 plus 1 ball bearings. Um, the bearings are well distributed, it's not like some crappy bearing count. They will have 2 plus 1 ball bearings on the shaft, which is the most important uh, bearings on the handle inside and uh, the dual bearings on the main gear. So it should be smooth enough but i wanted this reel because it's light and it's budget friendly it will run you from 21 to 30 euros depending when and where you get it i got mine on aliexpress on a choice day and i think i paid with discounts coins and everything 18 euros but the uh, base price was 21. so inside of the box you get the explosion diagram on the cardboard you get the reel on bubble wrap uh, bag for your reel, cloth bag, and instructions. If we put the box aside of the set and empty for now, pegboard, and we take the bubble wrap, you will see the first nice feature of this reel. So it has a screw on handle. If you want to put it on the other side, you just take the cap off and put it on the wrong side i mean the right side for me i will put it on the left and as i told you even though they sell it the disc, the name of the item on aliexpress is meredith ce series it will say humming board on the spool the spool as usual by now it's aluminium the handle also aluminium the cnc feels very good it's not rough for the price it says it's salt waterproof i doubt it but for the price you can take it to salt water fishing no problems you just buy another one the body it's reinforced nylon very very stiff it's one of the most stiff reels i held on my hand in here the fake chrome it's okay for the price point the bill has a nice touch it's painted on the same color scheme of the reel and if we leave it a little bit more leeway it will auto close very very nice feature but if you look on the details on this reel they are absolutely superb for this price point and if you look on the handle so you get the skinny um, handle you have this bit of sandwich to this spacer it's also very very detailed you get this cut on the handle the knob is very very skinny and actually comfortable and you also have this integrate work on the handle i know how well the camera will show i hopefully that it will focus because it's a very very nice work it's see-through it's not just a uh, effect it, they are taking weight out of the reel by doing this the reel out of the box feels very very smooth i will probably if nothing gets in the mail, I will throw it. I will take the handing M1 from the Ineffable just to test this reel. Also, I don't know how well the camera will show, but the Ineffable has some red details, which will combine very nicely with this red reel. As you can see on the video, it really looks good with the red accents. Uh, this is me fishing a tournament on my float tube. I fished with this reel and rod combo for about, I think in this day, two hours before I swap for another combo. It's very, very comfortable. I never run, run in any issue with this reel. The drag is smooth enough that I can use it 
uh, on this bigger and uh, heavier rod this is a 3 to 12 gram rod so more on the light and the ultralight side but I never run in an issue with a reel no line getting caught nothing and this is cheap ass braid I think it's Joff uh, 10 pound braid I think it's a not not good uh, braid I just it was the one that I had in hand and I didn't want to put too thin of a braid on this reel but enough of me not catching fish because i blanked on this tournament very very hard conditions i lost my sonar right on the beginning i broke the support for the flow tube getting in on the water and i just let myself fish the bank on the grass uh, let's change for a clip where i can actually cut the bass yes something It's a bass, dinky bass. First one on the channel. Nice. Ah, I've been waiting for so long for you, guy. Ah, stop it. Why you're pissing on me? Let's take a quick measure, because you are my on-camera PB. Sorry. I would say 25 centimeters. So, not that bad. On this burly map crow. So, first on the channel, bass, largemouth bass in Portugal. Ah, pretty pretty cool, the reel, no handle it, we, no problems, let's... Oh. Epa, it's a bicho, oh, no, 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 this pull up is fatal. Bigger one. Try uh, to not lose it. If you like the commentary as you usually do it's because it's very difficult to concentrate when you're catching your pb and you cannot afford drag because all of the grass that you see on the bottom and i have to play with the rod band and feeding in line but i landed it a bit of a messy of a land but it's what i can do i didn't have a net with me and it's my pb <sighs> So fat. Forty four centimeters on the tiniest of crows. Yes, the supercontinent crazy crow. And in here, I can show you that this is the actual fish that I have on my profile really? picture. It was well damn really? worth it to wet my feet going in the water. Ah, as you can see me man. complain right here, as I have a nice profile picture with a very, very nice, healthy, decent sized bass. At least for Portugal. I let it go, as you should, because if you want to keep the sport, you cannot make douradinhas with it. But by now, I will probably put it just on the pegboard because it's a very, very cool looking reel if you are into red. And I'm very, very eager to test it. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!